Alright, what's good? What's good there? Sci fiers, sci fi express lane, big thinkers, all these different people, you know. Our brains are so big, we only use 10% of it, and we still amaze ourselves over the things that we do. So it's amazing, big thinkers. So I wanted to, you know, uh, think as big as you can, right? Um, and then when you run out of space, what do you do? That's kind of what I'm talking about today. Um, I always tell people, I'm smart enough, I'm so smart, I'm humbled because I know all the things that I don't know. And I don't know if you understand that. Uh, my mother used to love the, the little book, the book that says, As a Man Thinketh. Um, and, oh, oh she, she loved that book, but she also loved this saying, he who knows and knows that he knows, knows not. And that's like hating on people. And some people take offense to it subtly and block out the understanding of it or stop uh, themselves from trying to understand it. And um, let's be clear. He who knows, knows. He who knows and knows that he knows, right? That's an arrogant person. And then what you're saying on top of that is knows not. And I mean, when we talk to uh, 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 or we listen to Albert Einstein and Neil deGrasse, whoever we think is like really, really smart, um, they will always be sort of humble and they'll also stay in their lane. Um, but one of the things that they'll do that um, uh, people who aren't always, who don't get celebrated for being smart, they have a system and a process of determining things and figuring things out. So there's a, a there's a um, there's a, a thing to um, logic. There's a thing to learning that is it is the process of acquiring knowledge. Um, it's the process of of, of 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 accumulating, not just accumulating facts, but sorting them out right so um there's a part of being smart that is doing that and then um and when you know and you know that you know you kind of give the suggestion that you don't need to do that anymore and um smart people that i've known that i respect are still very curious you know they want to know things that they don't know right um and that's another thing and they're also good listeners right and um, what else are they? So those are the characteristics that I have been in. Now, of course, they learn, they know things that they know, right? But since, you know, we only use a 10% of our brain, sheesh, there's got to be things and brain abilities that we still don't know, right? Um, so I don't like arrogant people either. So that, that's one hate on them. And, and then the saying goes, knows not. You know, that's the ultimate hate to say you didn't even know. You don't even know. You know what I'm saying? So what I like to say is I'm smart enough to know that there's things that I don't know and that I still need to learn. And, and people would love to throw at me, oh, Jeff, you know, oh, you think you know everything. No, no, pause. I know things that I know, but there's a whole lot more things that I don't know. I don't even think I know a fraction of the things that there are to know in terms of, of abilities and, you know, facts, you know. I don't even know if I want to know everything. That is an enormous burden right there. So now I fall back on now. I don't even want to know everything. But, um, yeah, people love to come at you. You think you know everything. No, no, no. I just know this, and you don't know it. So let fall back and let me show you because... As much as I'm a teacher, right, I'm also a student. And I'm a student more than I'm a teacher. That's why I grow, and that's what makes me even, um, I guess, smarter. Huh? Or, uh, it get, increases my, my um, knowledge pool, increases my um, onboard facts. Sheesh. But I tell students every day, you carry, right, this, this device right here, you carry a, a computer with access to encyclopedias and studies and real-time information 
that people never had before. So, you know, um, that's important because you can you can learn you learn from that, right? And that's your your facts information, but your processor is here. So that's you know, that's your file folder, all of that. The, the Google, right? All of it. You know, the knowledge of what to Google, where is it filed? You gotta look all that up. So now one of the other questions I wanna ask is kind of what do you do when you can't explain something? Okay? Um, how is how did the Wuhan virus get out, right? How did Corona get out? Um, there's certain things like people say, oh, you know, food was becoming so expensive that people didn't want to pay for it and now after this um, coronavirus uh, they are willingly paying higher prices like we don't have no problem paying higher prices for gas because we got bigger things to be stressed out about we done buried three four relatives you know and um, we lost friends and stuff like that. But, yo, that's interesting, right? That's interesting. I explain the things that I need to explain through spirituality, right? Um, the weather, uh, hurricanes, things. Yeah, I got a, a, um, a friend that goes straight to blaming the man for everything. Or I, I say the man, but what he, he says, they. And that they is like so big, but they is a man, right? They is a man. So um, he says, you know, they control the weather. You know, and some rabbit holes I don't even entertain. You know what I'm saying? But he certainly says, yeah, they, they control the weather. They did this. They caused this to happen. You know, they don't want to, they don't want to see somebody else do such and such and such, right? Um, how do you explain UFOs? Oh, they're not telling us this. They're not telling us that. They already know, like, they, he blames the they, right? And not him only. There's a lot of people blame the they. And then there's the other. So you go, you turn to God, you turn to, 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 to the they, and then what else do you do? Sometimes people just say, I don't really know. <laughs> and and let it fall like that. You know, it's like, I have no idea. And they're comfortable with not knowing. Um, and they don't need an explanation for everything. You know, so somewhere in all of that, I, I fall, right? I'm a person that will rule out all sorts of things. Like, so for me... There is a God explanation for certain things, right? There's a God explanation, but I've ruled out, can men do it, right? So the they has to get ruled out. And then I've ruled out just the need to not know, meaning that I want to know things, right? Especially if it's something that is impacting me. I don't want to walk around and just say, I don't know, I can't figure it out about everything. There's things I say I say about it cuz I don't want to stress, but in terms of of what do you call it? Um overall stuff, I do want to know as much as I can. So there is a elimination of the other two that I have to undergo. So I have to be able to eliminate and say, yo, it ain't God or it ain't man. Now, I will then fall back and say I can't explain it, but most of the time I'll say I can't explain it right now. Let's see. I believe that the truth will reveal itself. Hopefully, I'll live long enough for certain truths to be revealed, you know. Um, and then there's certain things that there's, you know, there's no coincidence. Somebody had to do it. Something had to have caused it. So I'm, I'm, I'm a mixture of all of those things. Um, but yeah, I wonder, what do you do when you don't know something? You know, you, some people just instantly fall back on, yo, 
the man did it. And there's, there's other explanations, right? And then even when men do it, right? Uh, or when you say the man did it, there's an explanation of why the man did it. So the why also helps me. You know, some things I can't explain why, you know, I have an idea of 9-11. I have an idea of, of the earthquake in Haiti. I have an idea about the uh, coronavirus. You know, those are things that I think within the realms of of men being able to do. I definitely don't think God bombed 9-11. Um, so that's easily, you know, but could they do it? Yeah, they're saying that they, there's no they, right? Yeah, I think 9-11 is a they. Wuhan, I don't know. I, it, there's so many they's that it could actually be an accident. So anyway, that's me thinking, you know. So the question is, how do you know stuff? You know, how do you know what you know? How do you don't know? How do you process? Um, it's a crazy question. It's an interesting conversation. Um, and I think it's also important for you to, to talk about these things, especially when you're writing stories, because your story is a, a answer to a what if. When I say that, it should be, because some science fiction writers write whatever the hell they want, and they don't answer no what ifs, and the, or the what ifs are really small, you know. Um, so uh, I'm saying for the big what if writers, yeah. You need to know how you know and know how you don't know because your characters have to be able to determine those things as well. All right, y'all. Short video today, but like I say all the time, like, share, and subscribe. I'm out.